Hello, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. I'm really, really excited about today's topic because a week ago, I've got the, the video up here, I created a video about making money by reading books and how you can use your voice. And one of my followers contacted me and said, I can read, but my voice isn't very good. So that's not something I think I can make money at. What can I do instead? Please help me. And that inspired me to create this video. And I thought, okay, that's fair. Some people, you know, that's not your gift. And, you know, just like I'm not going to go out and sing. <laughs> that's not my gift. I can read, but I'm not going to sing. So, you know, so that inspired me to think, okay, what is another skill somebody might have? and be able to look online and make money with it. And that would be editing, proofreading, writing. So you can use your skills. Maybe you're a good reader and you're good at editing and you can find mistakes. Maybe you're one of those people that are really good at finding mistakes that other people make. This would be great for you. So I've got five different websites today that will cover skills like that. Honestly, I could have found a hundred 200 websites. All you have to do is Google it. So I do want to encourage you to do that. I don't have all the answers. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you can do. And I'm really, really passionate about looking, making videos right now about helping people find work online because a lot of people have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. And some people, when bad things like that happen, they just, you know, get up and go solve the problem. And, and I understand too that some of us, and I've been in situations like that, where you just kind of freeze and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And you start to panic and sometimes people get depressed and anxiety sets in. And you honestly, honestly, the best way to get rid of depression, rid of anxiety is to take action. And I 100% believe that. And I know there are medical cases. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you get into a situation and you're not sure what to do. Um, I've been there. Okay. So I know how you're feeling. Um, but I've trained myself mentally to believe, and I do believe it, that there's always another way. There's always a solution to every problem. You've got to remember that in life, some people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth and it seems like everything's given to them and that's great. But then others, it seems like we have to work for everything we get. And to be honest, if you have to work for it, you're going to have, you're going to be building more integrity and more character, in my opinion, than the person who had everything given to them on a silver platter. So it's a good thing. Okay. So there's good in that. So today let's find some ways to make some money. Now, before we do that, I want you to subscribe to my channel because I have several playlists. I'm going to show you right now. I want you to subscribe. And when you get there, you're going to see my, my channel right here. And I want you to scroll down. I've made some playlists. Yes, there's one all about YouTube if you want to make a YouTube channel, but that's not where we're going today. The next section there says make money online. I've got four different playlists going. Those aren't just videos. Those are full of videos to give you different ways to make money. I try really hard not to overlap. Um, sometimes I do because I can't remember <laughs> if I put it in a video or not, but I really strive to to give you lots of different ideas so that you can go out and start earning some money. Now, one of the things I want to stress to you, if you did lose your job, um, you can get on here, um, use, go to some of these websites I'm going to show you, but things aren't going to happen like that. You do need to find another way to make money instantly. And that might be, I have one there. Um, I think it's called sell your stuff. Yes, it's in that it's right here. It's right here. Websites that make money. That first one in that playlist is sell your stuff. There's a what that video is really good because it's going to show you how to get rid of some of that crap that you've been hoarding um, <laughs> and make money. I made a thousand dollars in the last three weeks selling stuff out of my house because I'm like, what am I doing with all this crap? Um, one one of the pieces, uh, one was a piece of furniture um, for three hundred dollars, three hundred twenty five dollars. The rest of it, everything was sixty dollars or less. So um, I just went on Facebook Marketplace. But do stuff like that while you're working online. I'm working online. I have a business here. I have a YouTube channel. I have a, a coaching business. I teach online and I still do stuff like sell stuff out of my house. My point is I'm not financially in a position right now yet. That's what I'm leading towards to where I can sit back and just get passive income and not do anything. And so my point in telling you this is those people that you see, those big gurus that are making 10, 20, well, $80,000 a month, they've worked to get to that position, okay? They worked really hard to get there. And many of them are doing what I'm doing right now. They're still working their full-time job while they're building their business. And I'm telling you that because I don't want you to go to these websites and go, 
oh, I applied and nothing happened that, you know, that video, she lied. No, I'm telling you, you have to look at several streams of income while you're trying to make it, especially right now, if you've lost your job. Okay. So, and it's fun. It's fun. Don't think of work as hard. Think of it as fun because you're doing something that you enjoy. That's the beauty of working online. You're, you get to pick something you enjoy. You're not going to, you're not going to sit there and read books to people if you don't like reading books, right? You're, that would be silly to take a job like that. So, all right, let's jump in enough of my preaching, right? All right. So website number one, the first one is called Scribber, S-C-R-I-B-B-R. And they're a freelance academic editing job and you get to edit. And the neat thing about this is you don't have to find the work yourself. You apply with them. And I tried to find different websites where you didn't have to have a degree or some of these say they want five, six years of experience. So you have to watch for qualifications. Okay. Many of the ones I found today, it just said, you, you know, they, they want to train you. Um, so go ahead and this one pays 23 to $25 an hour and you would be editing. I do believe this is the one that said, um, they had training. There's a, you can watch a video of somebody that works for the company. Um, there's all the benefits. I'll leave it there for you to read. So many of them, like I said, they'll train you in what they want you to do. Some of them will say, you know, give me a sample of your work and you know, maybe you'll apply and they'll say, well, you're not what we're looking for. Don't give up. Maybe you're not what they're looking for. That means there's another door waiting for you to open. When the door closes, there's another door waiting for you to open. So I want you to think right now of this pandemic. If you lost that job that you probably didn't like anyway, you've been blessed right now. You can sit at home. You don't have all those distractions of having to go to work. And now you get to find something that you'll love doing. Maybe you already were thinking about starting a job online and now you have the time to do it right because a lot of people they don't start because they say i don't have time you've just been given the gift of time and that doesn't happen very often so think of the good that's happening right now not the bad okay because it'll all work out in the end so this one here like i said 23 to 25 dollars an hour i have another one called cactus and they're looking for full, if you're looking for full-time work this is c-a-c-t-u-s i'll have all these links below um, they're not affiliate links just they'll bring you right here to the websites um, but this one here it has um, find the job that helps you some of them are work from an office you can work from home or you can become a freelancer with them open up these videos, see what they are, figure out what they have. <laughs> I had a little bug crawling up the video there. Okay. Um, find out what they are and which one best fits you. Um, freelancing. I'm going to show you another website at the end, the fifth one uh, that shows what freelancing is. That's kind of when you promote yourself, you come in and say, this is what I can do. And you're kind of like an entrepreneur, you're a contractor, you're, um, finding jobs yourself. Um, in this case, if you work for them full time, then you're going to do what they tell you to do, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But this company says they pay anywhere from 14 to $19 an hour. Not bad. You probably, you know, get a paycheck and, and, um, they have current openings up here. So check them out. Um, some of the websites that I went to didn't have openings right now. So that's going to happen. Other ones will say, yes, we're looking for people just like find, trying to find any other job. Sometimes they're hiring, sometimes they're not. Now the next one I put here on purpose, how many of you watching right now have a bachelor's degree from college that you've never used? That seems to be what's happening to our culture right now. Back when I went to school, I think I graduated in 90 I'm from college. I can't even remember 91 maybe, but back then, you know, we paid like $5,000 a year. Um, you went and got a degree and you used it. Many, many companies that you applied at would, would want you to have a college degree to be able to even get in a job. It seems like today, a college degree, in my opinion, is almost like a high school diploma, how it was for us back then. So here you are sitting with college debt, you've lost your job and you have a bachelor's degree that you're not using. This one, they want you to have a bachelor's. So that bachelor's, even though it might not be in English or writing, will help Help you secure a job with this company so they're looking for a um, a different caliber of person usually a person who makes it through college you know they have a characteristic of they have the persistence 
to finish something that they've started. So that does say something about your character, even though you're not using the degree. So it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, um, if you found you're not using it, you might want to come in here and look. And it's called um, Cambridge proofreading. So again, you're going to be proofreading and they pay 20 to $30 an hour. So that's not bad. So use that college degree if you haven't. The fourth website that I have is called Writer's Work. Get paid to write. We're seeking writers any skill level. This is the one. Um, they pay 20 to $65 an hour and they say get started now. And they are the ones I think that said they had intensive training. Um, they have over 2,000 grammar style and readability checks, so they have ways of training you. They've got tools that you can use. Um, you have to be 18 years old. You need to have a reliable internet connection. You probably need to have a laptop because you're going to be working from your laptop and good customer service and willing to do great work for great pay. So it sounds like you're going to be working with clients probably um, since you have to have good customer service. So if that's you and you like to work with people and you're willing to, you know, learn and you have maybe not a strong skill level, it sounds like they're willing to work with you. I really personally would look at, into this one first if you're not quite sure. Now, maybe you have that entrepreneur spirit and um, you're a free, you want to be a freelancer. You're like, I've already, I still have my job. I'm not really looking to work for somebody else because I'm sick and tired of other people telling me what I'm worth. I want to start my own business. I want to be a freelancer. I want to be an entrepreneur. And one of the skills that you have is the ones that we've been talking about. Then you might want to go to a company called Fiverr.com. I've got the link below. And just as an example, if I were looking for somebody, I could go to Fiverr.com and try to find somebody there to do a job for me. And as an example, I have a website and I just haven't had time to write blogs. I'm trying to build it up. Actually, behind the scenes, I'm doing this. But I found somebody else to take my YouTube videos, get them transcribed, and turn them into blogs for me because I don't have time. You just heard me earlier of all the things that I'm doing. I don't mind writing. I could I pretty much will do anything, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but I, there's just so much time, okay? So I hired somebody and I found them on a freelance um, website. This is just one. There's others called rolodex.com. You can go to upwork.com. I think there's one called freelancer.com. But this is one, um, Fiverr, that a lot of people start out on. Let me give you an example. I'm going to type in um, edit. Editing and proofreading. I already got it typed in. Oh, there you go. Editing and proofreading. We're going to do a search. Now, what's going to come up are other people on the site that are giving their services. So I would come as somebody looking to hire you, and I would type that in, and you would have certain keywords, and you can just look at what other people have done to advertise themselves, find a model that you like. You might look at four or five people and take some of those keywords. Now, make sure whatever you're advertising, you're capable of doing. So this is for somebody that has that entrepreneur spirit, and um, they want to promote themselves. But look here. Now, a lot of them will say, oh, I only charge $5. I start at $5, $15, $20. These are usually people who are new and they're willing to work cheaper. But I have found, you're, as a person hiring, I click the button and then they say, okay, well, what do you want done? And I'll tell them. And then they'll come back and say, um, what, they may say I charge $20 an hour for that project. Or they might say, I will knock that out for you and do it for this amount of money. So it really depends on what the jobs are. So those figures there are just to get you to come in. Honestly, I don't click the ones that say five because I've tried some of them and a lot of times um, they're just getting started and they're not really sure what they're doing. Um, I find the people that I kind of look for people in the middle. That's just me. So, I mean, if you're good, don't undercut yourself. And here's another piece of advice I want to give you too. Don't come across as desperate. When I was looking for somebody to write my blogs, I found five people that I liked and I wrote, I was communicating with all of them. And as I was searching, one person had in their um, description, 
trying to sell themselves. I just lost my job and I can do anything. And the, the person sounded really desperate. I felt bad. And you know, that part of me wanted to hire, but I'm like, well, I even gave them a chance. I, I'll tell you what I did in a minute, but they came across as really desperate. I had another young lady that I did end up hiring who said I'm new. And, and I even said, I've never hired anybody to write a blog and we're, we're working really well together, but she showed, she came across with confidence. She was excited and this is what I can offer. And now this is what I did as a person looking for somebody to work for me. I gave them one of my transcripts and asked them to give me an example of what they would do with it. Now, I didn't want them to write the whole thing because that wouldn't be fair. Um, one lady really uh, expressed to me how well she could write headings. And, you know, another person said, here, I wrote the whole thing. Another one, you know, they all did it differently, but that's how I found my person. One person said, I'm not giving you a sample. I don't work for free. Fine. And they didn't get hired either. Um, but you have to be willing to give something for free to be able to build up your clientele, if that makes sense. Um, you, just like YouTube channels, people create videos on YouTube channels for the first year for free. They're not monetized. They're giving you all that information for free before they can establish themselves into a position to get paid, if that makes sense. Now, again, I didn't expect an entire sample. I just wanted something. I even asked for, show me something else that you've done. But if, you know, have some samples of your work, if it's not what they want, but be willing to show what you can do. Um, so hopefully that was helpful to you. Um, if you are somebody that uh, does work on your own, you're a freelancer and um, you have any tips for our audience, please share that. Again, um, one more time here in Fiverr, uh, I was talking about blog writing, but there's one other um, area that you might want to be a copywriter. Um, people who do copyright might do sales pages, copywriting and things like that. So if you have a background in that, you can come to Fi Fiverr, actually make a list of all your skills and then just start, you know, searching. Some people do email copywriting, uh, copywriting for websites. I mean, there are so many things you can do with writing. Like I said, I am just touching the surface. My goal in this video was to get you to start, get your wheels turning. I want you to think about what are the skills that I have that I can get paid for and I can sit right here at home in the comfort of my own home at my laptop and start a business. And again, or maybe I'm just trying to make it until I get back to the job that I love. But please don't give up. There is a way. There's always a way. And that's my other tip that I want to give you today is don't give up. Find something to do. You are welcome to email me anytime. I'm going to put my um, email down below too if you've got, if you're, you know, if, if you are kind of just depressed right now or you just feel like you can't, you know, get out of that thought process, just give me an email and maybe together we can find something that you can do. All right. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Until then, stay safe.